So still now we discussed about DC circuits and where DC is called the direct current. The current magnitude or the current characteristics are not changes with respect to time. So it is constant. At any time the magnitude of the current or amplitude of the current is constant. Coming to the AC circuits, what is meant by AC? What is the abbreviation of AC is alternating current. So it should consist of a positive off cycle and a negative off cycle. And the positive off cycle magnitude or a positive off cycle maximum value should be equal to negative maximum and this is i versus omega t see this is a sine waveform why we are preferring the sine waveform is integration of sine is cos and integration of cos is sine and differentiate this also differentiation of cos is minus sine differentiation of sine is cos theta so you are if you are integrating or differentiating you will get the same waveform the nature of the waveform is sine side of same waveform means the nature of the waveform is sine side of if i am taking the reference at this point then it is a cosine waveform if i am taking the reference at this point then it is called as a sine waveform and ac is uh, characteristics uh, are changes with respect to time it consists of a positive off cycle and as well as the negative off cycle and alternating current has a frequency that means what is the minimum frequency is number of cycles per second but dc has no frequency number of cycles are equal to zero and thomas alva edison e who invented thomas alva edison is invented dc and nikola tesla was invented ac war was happened uh, between a dc and the ac systems and dc we are having a resistance uh, generally conductors has a resistance in a dc we are having i square or losses i square or losses are more due to this the heat produced is also more then the efficiency will be decreases coming to the ac what will happen so with the help of a transformers we can go for the higher voltages we can step up the voltages if we step up the voltages the current values will be less and the i square or losses are less the transmission losses are reduces with the step up voltages we can step up or step down the voltages with the help of a transformer and the step up voltage means the current will be decreases step down means would means current is increases the main is the transmission losses are reduces then the efficiency will be improved the bulb will work for uh, ac as well as the dc if it is a tungsten filament bulb and uh, ac has a frequency our indian frequency is 50 hertz and uh, all developed countries like japan us and uh, their frequency is 60 hertz or inner frequency is 50 hertz if you buy laptops and uh, uh, from the imported or, or india also you can see on a laptop cover and adapter it will he will mention 50 or 60 hertz means it will work for 50 as well as the 60 hertz so the direct current has a disadvantage i square or losses are more so that's why we are going for the AC in order to reduce the losses. And the AC and the maintenance is not required for AC motors like three-phase induction motor. For DC motors, either DC series motor, a compound motor, or shunt motor, for DC motors, we require a regular maintenance are required. So this is the difference between the DC and AC systems and uh, why we are preferring the advantages of advantages of uh, sine waveform 
as i just now i said integration of sin is cos uh, if i am taking the reference at this point then it is a sin wave form and if i am taking the reference uh, at this point then it will it is a cosine wave form so this is symmetrical about x axis so the maximum value of the current is i maximum positive maximum the negative value is uh, is a minus i maximum this positive peak and the negative peak both are equal and opposite and the wave form is also and same wave form positive of cycle magnitude is equal to negative of cycle magnitude this wave form is called the symmetrical wave form wave form so here so this is also symmetrical wave form so let us say this is called the uh, i maximum and this is also minus i maximum the current versus uh, omega t this why we are not preferring the square wave form and uh, triangular wave forms this is also symmetrical wave form this is also symmetrical wave form because of energy storage elements are present uh, in our uh, system uh, l stores the energy in the form of magnetic field and voltage across the inductor is l dA by dt and the current through the capacitor is c dv by dt if current wave form is sinusoidal and the voltage wave form is also sinusoidal if uh, suppose the current wave form is triangular wave form what is uh, what will happen voltage across the inductor is l dA by dt differentiation of this triangular wave form i will get the square wave form the harmonics are produced uh, with this harmonics so the the fans and bulbs all the loads are connected uh, to the system are not properly working so that's why we prefer the sinusoidal wave form there's a major advantage of the sinusoidal wave form because uh, there are it has only fundamental frequency as we apply the fourier series to the uh, triangular wave form or square wave form it is a inbuilt of uh, so many frequencies so many sinusoidals fourier series means fourier series that should be equal to a naught plus sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n omega t plus b n sin n omega t so the x of t function can be written as so many sinusoidals if you add all these waveforms with the multiple frequencies cos suppose if n value is 1 cos omega t if n value is 2 cos 2 omega t if n value is 3 cos 3 omega t where omega is the fundamental frequency 2 omega means uh, 2 times of fundamental frequency that is 2 omega 2 into 50 means 100 hertz because uh, we are using uh, 50 hertz frequency 3 omega means 150 hertz this is 100 hertz but all the systems are working only for 50 hertz we have to eliminate all these harmonics uh, and if you add all the harmonics then i will get the square wave form so that's why we are not preferring the square wave form or triangular wave form we are preferring only pure sinusoidal wave form because all the loads are properly working for pure sinusoidal wave form only so that is a major advantage of the sine wave